What's up guys, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So the details for the upcoming Dokkan Festival exclusive. Videl have officially been revealed on the Dokkan Twitter page. Um, it's still kind of crazy to me that this is a thing. Um, I mean, obviously I'm happy about it. As I said, like I think Videl deserves a Dokkan Fest unit and it's a good sign for the future of Dokkan because it does show that they're willing to uh, go outside the box, right, and give a lot of these, you know, lesser characters, not saying that Videl's not good, but just like, she's not a Goku, not a Vegeta, Broly, so on and so forth. It's cool that they're willing to give these kind of more minor characters Dokkan Fest exclusives, and I'm definitely hoping that the Android 18 Dokkan Fest is around the corner, or at least within the next, like, six months to a year. We'll have to see, but either way, the details for Videl are here, so we're gonna check them out in today's video, and there's also... A new side unit coming with the banner which is this new kid goten so we'll also see what he does but before we get into the uh, kits for each unit let's actually pop over to the animations here and check them out because they are uh pretty awesome so let me turn off my music real quick and here we go ご飯君の好み。いや、好みとかじゃなくて試合するんだったら短い方が有利だと思ってさ。うるさいわね、ほっといてよ。そんなこと私の勝手でしょ。Okay, so there you go, guys. The animations for the new Goten, as well as the Videl, her active skill, and then her uh, unit super attack as well. Um, I mean, Goten looks cool. Goten has a pretty sweet animation for a side unit, but if I were to use one word to describe the Videl animations, I guess the only appropriate word would be wholesome right i mean they really played into the whole uh dynamic between gohan and videl in the Buu saga and i think it's pretty awesome I, I i really enjoy it you know like they're not the most hype animations if you will you know like videl never really had any like crazy moments or any crazy attacks but um I, honestly i love the direction they went with it i, I love this active skill like where she asks him if uh, she likes girls with short hair, and then she cuts her hair after. <laughs> um, hold on. Is she the first unit? I, I, okay, no, I guess it's like a costume thing, right? For for JP. Um, because, yeah, she she has, like, different, uh, different art, different animations. Like, even though it's the same attack, she has short hair in the animations after she uses the active skill, right? So, um, yeah, no, that makes sense, actually. So that's pretty cool, like, how she changes her appearance after the active skill. And uh, those are the animations. Uh, unit super attack, regular super attack, uh, active skill of course, all that good stuff. So from here, let's move on to, you know, a breakdown of what she actually does along with the Goten. And uh, as I'm sure you guys are aware, we always gotta give a shout out to my boy Goresh, or the homie Goresh, my bad, the homie Goresh on Twitter for posting the translations as he always does. Let's uh, start with her first. 
Her leader skill is Ally of Justice, which is a brand new category, or Peppy Gals, category key plus 4, HP, attack, and defense plus 170%. So, um, Ally of Justice, I haven't taken a look at the, at the category yet, so I'm not sure exactly you know, how good it is. I'm assuming not the best category out there, but Peppy Gals, man. Key plus 4, HP, attack, and defense plus 170%. This is even better than I was expecting. Like, I was expecting, you know, 170% for two stats, and then, like, 150 or 130 for the other one, and then key plus three, but she gives key plus four, and HP attack and defense plus 170%. So, uh, Peppy Gals will definitely not have any key issues with her as the lead. And there's also some crazy supports on that team anyways, so I don't really think it was gonna have any key issues to start with, but you're never gonna have to really worry about getting a super off with uh, the Peppy Gals team if you have her as your leader. And then we have uh, two super attacks of course. The normal super attack is Videl Rush, raises attack and causes, sorry, raises attack, uh, raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage. And then the unit super attack is Justice Rush, greatly raises attack, raises defense for one turn and greatly lowers defense. And I'm assuming it's also immense damage too for uh, the unit super attack. And the conditions to activate it it can be activated when there is a character whose name includes Gohan Teen, Ultimate Gohan, or Great Saiyan Man. Only Gohan variants on the team. So uh, yeah, these are the three characters you have to have on the team to get the unit super attack, which is nice. You don't have to have, uh, I guess, the character on the rotation. So it's not as restrictive as uh, some of the other you know, unit super attacks in the past. And then her passive is attack and defense plus 158% at the start of the turn. High chance to evade enemy attacks until this unit attacks and gains an additional 58% attack when attacking. And then attacks effective against all types for the turn after evading an enemy's attack. Gains an additional attack plus 58% for the turn after receiving an attack. Performs an additional super attack as the first or second attacker in the turn and then attack plus 58% and high chance to evade enemy attacks as the third attacker in a turn. Okay, so um, there's a lot of stuff going on as you guys can see, but basically if you're in a situation where she's in the first slot, so of course she gets 158% attack and defense for just the start of the turn, like there's no condition behind that. So she always has this, but then if she evades an attack before she attacks, she'll get the additional 58%. And then she also gets attacks effective against all types that turn when she evades the attack. And then she also gains an additional 58% attack for the turn after receiving an attack. So ideally, the perfect turn would be she you know, is in the first slot, evades an attack, then also gets hit before she starts attacking. And in that case, she's going to be uh, getting yeah 158% attack and defense, and then another 58% attack, and then another 58% attack. Also attacks effective against all types, and also she launches two supers, guaranteed with potentially a third super from the hidden potential system. And uh, finally, this last part here is uh, if she's the third attacker, then she will miss out on like a lot of these buffs, but she does get a a, a high chance to evade, as well as 58% uh, attack. Okay, so uh, overall, yeah, the, she's very good. <laughs> she's very, very good on first impression on paper. She looks like she's going to be hitting pretty decently hard, um, especially with the double guaranteed supers. And uh, she's going to be quite good defensively as well. And she also has an active skill, of course. And this can be activated once four turns have elapsed from the start of battle. And there's a character whose name includes Gohan, Teen, Ultimate Gohan, or Great Saiyan Man. Gohan variants only on the team once only. And the uh, ability gives her attack plus 20%, but defense minus 20%. And there doesn't seem to be a turn restriction here. So I guess this is permanent for like the rest of the fight, maybe. I'm not 100% sure about that, but it doesn't say like for one turn or for two turns or whatever. So I'm assuming, yeah, she gets the additional 20% attack for the rest of the event, but she does lose 20% defense. I guess losing the hair makes her a little bit less tanky. That makes sense, right? Anyways, uh, her links are Courage, Money, 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 Cold Judgment, Infighter, Champion Strength, Battlefield Diva, and Fierce Battle. 
and her categories are Ally of Justice, Peppy Gals, Majin Buu Saga, and Earthlings. So there's the Videl. She looks, yeah, very impressive to me on paper. One thing I will mention is that she's not going to be very good on teams outside of Peppy Gals, okay? Because she kind of needs to have the double key plus four because she doesn't have any key on her passive. She does have Battlefield Diva, but once again, that is a link that, you know, pretty much only Peppy Gals units have, right? So um, you want to either have the double key plus four or you want to have Battlefield Diva activated because otherwise it might be a little bit hard to get her super attack off. So um, she definitely seems like a unit that was made to be very good on one specific team. Not to say that she's not usable on other teams like Earthlings, like Majin Buu Saga. Like you can definitely run her on those teams, but uh, she's not going to be as effective or as consistent, I guess is the right word. So uh yeah there is videl for you let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about her are you impressed are you disappointed do you plan to summon i mean those animations alone honestly are pretty tempting for me so i mean i got some time to think about it as a global main she's not going to be dropping for a while but uh i'll probably you know do one or two videos for her for sure when she comes out on the global side but uh from there let's move on to this goten real quick there's not too much to talk about so uh, let's just blast through this. So, he yeah, has attack Super Saiyan Kid Goten. His leader skill is Prodigious Warriors, category K plus 3. HP, attack, and defense plus 120%. Super attack, Kamehameha, raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 150% at the start of the turn. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 10% per attack performed. Max of attack and defense plus 50%. And then Prodigious Warriors, category Allies K plus 3. Attack and defense plus 40%. So amazing support right there for the prodigious warriors category. And his links are the Innocent, Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, Kamehameha, Budding Warrior, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Kamehameha, Hybrid, Saiyans, Majin Buu Saga, Goku's Family, Youth, Siblings Bond, Super Saiyan, Prodigious Warriors, and World Tournament. So that is the Gohan, or sorry, Goten. Not too much to talk about here, but... Um, you know, he looks good for a side unit. Great support, obviously good buff on his passive. He's going to be another one of those, uh, you know, support units that are going to hit pretty damn hard for support with some very solid defense. And uh, that is the Goten for you. So, guys, that is going to be today's video. Like I told you guys in that video a couple days ago, um, Videl is not an April Fool's prank. It is legit. And, dude, I think it's awesome. Hopefully other... Uh, less like popular characters or less hype characters start getting these Dokkan Fest as well because um, I think it's a good direction for the game to take and she looks like she's gonna be a fun unit to run for sure if not you know mostly on the Pippi Gals team maybe Earthlings maybe sometimes Majin Buu Saga we'll have to see of course her new category as well I'm sure she's gonna be quite good on that but uh, for the most part I don't think she's gonna be like a top five tur or anything like that but she is gonna perform really well um on those specific teams and yeah that's all i gotta say man thank you so much for watching a big shout out to koresh for posting the translations as always and uh until next time if you guys enjoyed today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out